Philosophy of education is a topic that has been debated and discussed for centuries. It is the study of the fundamental nature of education, its purpose, and its methods. It is a subject that has been explored by philosophers, educators, and scholars alike, each with their own unique perspectives and beliefs. In this blog article, we will delve into the world of philosophy of education, exploring its history, key concepts, and its relevance in today's educational landscape. History of philosophy of education. The roots of philosophy of education can be traced back to ancient Greece, where philosophers such as Plato and Aristotle explored the nature of education and its role in society. Plato believed that education should focus on developing the mind and soul, while Aristotle emphasized the importance of practical knowledge and experience. These ideas laid the foundation for future philosophers to build upon. During the Renaissance period, the humanist movement brought about a shift in the focus of education. Humanist thinkers such as Erasmus and Montaigne believed that education should be centered around the individual and their personal development. This idea was further developed by John Locke, who believed that education should be tailored to the needs and abilities of each student. In the 19th and 20th centuries, philosophers such as John Dewey and Jean-Jacques Rousseau introduced new ideas and theories on education. Dewey's progressive education philosophy emphasized the importance of hands-on learning and experiential education, while Rousseau's naturalistic approach focused on the innate goodness of children and the importance of allowing them to learn at their own pace. Key Concepts in Philosophy of Education there are several key concepts that are central to the philosophy of education. These include the purpose of education, the role of the teacher, and the methods of teaching. The purpose of education is a fundamental question that has been debated by philosophers for centuries. Some believe that the purpose of education is to prepare individuals for the workforce, while others argue that it should focus on personal and moral development. Still, others believe that education should be a means of social and political change. The role of the teacher is another important concept in philosophy of education. Traditionally, teachers were seen as the authority figures in the classroom, responsible for imparting knowledge to their students. However, with the rise of progressive education, the role of the teacher has shifted to that of a facilitator, guiding students in their own learning journey. Methods of teaching are also a key aspect of philosophy of education. Traditional methods such as lectures and rote learning have been challenged by more progressive approaches that emphasize hands-on learning, critical thinking, and problem solving. The debate over which method is most effective continues to this day. Relevance in today's educational landscape. In today's fast-paced and ever-changing world, the study of philosophy of education is more relevant than ever. With the rise of technology and the increasing demand for critical thinking and problem-solving skills, educators are constantly re-evaluating their methods and approaches to teaching. The philosophy of education also plays a crucial role in shaping educational policies and curriculum development. By understanding the purpose of education and the role of the teacher, policymakers can make informed decisions that will benefit students and society as a whole. In conclusion, Philosophy of education is a complex and multifaceted subject that continues to evolve and shape the world of education. From its roots in ancient Greece to its relevance in today's educational landscape, it has played a crucial role in shaping our understanding of education and its purpose. As we continue to explore new ideas and theories, the study of philosophy of education will remain an integral part of the educational discourse.